What's up, everybody? This is C A R L O S Carlos. Today we're doing a top ten exclusives, top ten Funko Pop anime exclusives. I mean, hot topic, box lunch exclusive, triple A exclusive, entertainment Earth exclusive, Funko Shop exclusive, and PX exclusive and GameStop exclusive. If I'm missing any exclusive, tell me to comment down below. No, I don't think so. But anyways. Time for the exclusives, and we're gonna start with honorable mentions as always. Honorable mention: We got Tetsu Tetsu, Class One B, uh, Hot Top exclusive. Also, Kendo, Class One B, um, Hot Top exclusive. S uh, those two characters are like one of my favorite characters from Class One B, Tetsu Tetsu and Kendo. I like the characters, um, and yeah. We're not expecting to get class one uh one B characters or expecting more of class one A, but Funko said no, nah, we're gonna start doing class one B. So having Tessa Tessa and Kendo as the first of the three with Monoma was an amazing job from Funko. So and we still have more class one B pops that have barely are started are barely coming out as well or have came out. So yeah, but those two are honorable mentions. We also have Stardust Dragon uh, games. No, it's a Target exclusive. Uh, that that part was amazing. Uh, I I got it, but it was damaged condition. But it doesn't matter about the box. I just wanted to pop, and yeah, amazing pop. It just not top ten, but at least it was an honorable mention. We also have Dorothy. Funko Shop exclusive. I like this pop. Uh, I'm a huge Black Clover fan, so this pop was amazing to get and to have. Another captain. Everything is unique during this wave of Black Clover, and I'm all for it. And Dorothy is an amazing addition to the first wave. And yeah, people were not expecting to. We were not expecting to have Dorothy this soon in this wave, first wave. So. Um, very shocking from Funko and um, amazing Funko shop exclusive. Uh, we also had Hawks Chalice Collectibles exclusive. I enjoy this pop, uh, but not as much as the comment. As I said, it's a very too similar to the Inosuke Chalice Collectibles exclusive, but uh, amazing um, exclusive set for for Chalice, you know. So, and then we had also Greed. Uh, Hot Topic exclusive that was from the first wave of the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood or Full Metal Alchemist second wave. Uh, but yeah, amazing first exclusive and it has Ling as Greed. So I enjoyed it. I just wish there was a chase for it, uh, as I said in the video when I did the unboxing. But hey, I have uh, it's, it's nice to have the pop at least. So we're gonna start off with number. 10. Number 10 spot, we got Kawaki Hot Topic Exclusive, The Glow in the Dark. I I didn't like the glow. We all could say, and we could all agree, that the glow in the dark feature on this pop is horrible. It's horrendous. We did not like it. But, the detail and the way the pop, uh, the design of the pop of Kawaki it's amazing. I, I enjoyed the design on the Kawaki. It just the glow was the was the bad thing. The design, amazing job from Funko. I like the design for this Kawaki uh, pop. If it was not a glow in the dark, I think people would enjoy it more. Or actually, if the glow was a little bit better, we would be putting it much higher on the list. But. I'm just putting in top 10 because I really love the design and the character and just uh, glow. Well, it is not a glow um, pop video, but I will also do a top 10 glow in the dark. But anyways, yeah, it, the design is amazing. That's all I had to say. <clears throat> Number nine, we had Gojo box lunch exclusive. This came out a week before I was starting the top 10, so it barely made it to the list. And this pop is amazing. I, I like the the red curse and uh, curse technique uh, reversal. I like the way 
and legs. <clears throat> uh, and the design of the Curse Energy sp spinner on his fingers is amazing. So, but yeah. Uh, number eight, we had. So on number eight, we had Law from One Piece. But I just remembered there was another amazing Funko Pop that came out that year in the Yu Gi Oh! wave. And that was the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Yes, the Hot Tower exclusive uh, Funko Pop, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. It's an amazing pop. I went right away to get that pop because that pop looked amazing with the three headed um, blue eyes dragon. Um, the shininess of the of the paint they had put on the blue eyes, the claw detail, the wings, uh, and yeah, it was an amazing pop. The exact size, a six inch pop, a good size as it should be for this pop the teeth the tongue everything was amazing on this pop the design was well made and well thought from funko so yeah seven we had giyu triple a exclusive <clears throat> this one came in the end of last year of the last yeah the last last year in 2021 uh but i had to add it to this list because it came very like january the beginning of January and the end of December, but amazing pop. I like the design of the pop, and yeah, I just wish it would. I could have put it higher, but it came and it barely made it to this list because uh, the timing of the pop being released. But I wish it could have been higher. But <clears throat> these other ones came exactly in this year, so. We got number six, Luck Voltia AAA exclusive. This was the first um, Fungal Pop that was a first exclusive for the first wave of of Black Clover. And this was the only exclusive they <clears throat> they ever showed when they really re uh, revealed the three common and the two uh, keychains. This was the only exclusive they shared. Except Funko Europe uh, shared uh, Charlotte and uh, Mary Leona. But Luck was the only one that people were so happy to get. And it came with an amazing chase. Um, and that will be uh, another list. The chase will be on another list. I'm just going to say. Um, but yeah, the chase was amazing. And this was an amazing exclusive. And the Grimoire in his lining um, magic. It was amazing as well because the other pops didn't have the um, their grimoires and their elemental um, power or like when from you know also his sword or well, I think it kind of did but Noel with her water like like was the only one that had the lining on the grimoire so it was an amazing detail that Fungo put and that was the first exclusive from that wave so yeah then we got number five the wing dragon of raw GameStop exclusive. This was an amazing exclusive. Uh, this was the only uh, Egyptian god card that we were missing. We had Skyfer, Slifer, the Sky Dragon, and we had, um, oh my god, I just I missed, I forgot his name, uh, Obelisk, the Tormentor. Uh, and this Wing Dragon of Raw was the last one in the piece of the three legendary, I mean, the Egyptian guy, uh, guard, god cards. So this was uh, high, high in the list because everyone wanted to complete the three, having them three in the set. So it was a very happy release and very happy exclusive that everyone wanted to get. Because as I had to sky for the sky, sky for the sky dragon, I really wanted to get wing dragon roll. Um, but yeah, the amazing pop. And it just it was delayed in stores for me because I pre-ordered in store, so it was a bigger delay than people online. But that's the only reason I put it a little lower. But but yeah. Anyways, number four we had Charlotte Chalice collectible exclusive. I love the design of this pop. I really do. Ever since they showed it on the Funko Fair from. As I said, Funko Europe. But 
also making it glow in the dark is another up like oh making it up higher in the list just because of the glow is I, I like the glow and the design was already amazing so i was already going to pre-order that pop i pre-ordered that pop when chatter's collectible just like if funko europe already spoiled what was going to come here's the link to where you guys could pre-order it and chatter's collectible was already giving us out the the bundle and just the charlotte or you could buy the charlotte by itself or the bundle to get that chase but yeah amazing uh, exclusive for for chalice collectibles i think it would have been my favorite chalice collectible exclusive fungal pop but the next one take a spot we have number three mikasa chalice collectible exclusives this one was as fantastic as the common as I said, we needed a, re a new mold for this pop. But the Chalice Collectible Exclusive had an amazing detail that the common didn't have. Was the smoke when they're using their... Is it in Inger? Their in gear. Their in gear. I, I, I was like, I know it's in gear. It's in gear. Their in gear um, when they're zipping through the sky. So I like this smoke low detail on the smoke. That's the space uh, as the uh base stand. And her pose is amazing. And I believe this one comes with their um what's it called it? Their scout um suit. So another difference from the common and the exclusive. Well, the exclusive is just her with a scarf or her regular clothes. And this one came with the their um, jacket. So, yeah. This was my favorite Chalice Collectibles exclusive uh, Funko Pop. But, let's forget. There's two more. So, on the number two spot, we had full, Fully Hollowed Ichigo Entertainment Earth exclusive. We're not expecting to get this pop. Um, we're expecting it a little later. Well, we thought we were getting, it was going to come in a wave. But it came separately. Before the newest wave of Bleach is coming out. Then we had. Um, the GameStop exclusive. Um, Fungal pop from Bleach as well. But that was later on revealed. Um, Ukiyora. Um, but we had fully each uh, hollow each go that went well with that exclusive from uh, what was it from the E C C C um, exclusive is it E C C the Winter Con exclusive the Winter Con exclusion I was just gonna say um, but yeah a great having the fully. Um, Hollow Ichigo with Ukiyura is an amazing combo. So, but a great design. I really like the design. Thank goodness I caught up to Bleach or I wouldn't even know the character. But it's amazing Funko Pop. Uh, I just, uh, I, I prefer the common than the, the glow. But that's just me. It's, I just wish it was more white than blue glow. But yeah, I, I, I like the pop. I really did. So, the number one spot. This one's gotta be easy. Number one spot. I think it was the best pop. It could have been better, but it was still the best pop of this sh of this past year. I mean, it was the Levi Battle A E exclusive. This pop sold out real quick. I'm telling you, real quick. Like it didn't last like a minute. It was that real. It was super quick. The People were already searching up AE, where's the AE exclusive uh, Battle Levi goes to? Where, where, where? People were going nuts for it when they showed off that uh, pop. People were going nuts. They were trying to pre order it. And then when Chalice Collectible put it on their website, it sold out real quick. And then other websites were selling it and it was sold out real quick. 
and I was one of those people who were trying to get it, and I was like, oh my god, they're selling out so quick. Like, I gotta know where it's gonna be at. The next website they're gonna upload it. And I got it. I think it was like one of the last websites that I was like, I gotta give it a try. I'll give them a try because someone saying that they're pretty good at their shipping and delivery of these Fungo Pops. And I was like, okay, if they believe in them, I'll believe in them. I was like, I'm pre ordering it right here. So I pre ordered it with the AE exclusive. Sticker, not the special edition sticker. I wanted the AE exclusive sticker. So I'm really happy that I got that pop. That, that was one of the best pops and the most hyped and most sold out pop, exclusive pop that we had this past year. Like nothing else could compare to the Battle of Levi. That one sold out real quick. Like, and it was selling on different websites. All websites that were people were, like you would go to to buy their pops, and yeah, what a pop! And we just wish the, the blood was a little darker, a little br brighter red. Um, but the pop came out fantastic. The bass stand of the smoke, him in action pose, him with the blood, all like yo. No other pop can compare to that Attack on Titan pop. Thank goodness I got into the Attack on Titan in the right time. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't even want to get the pop. But now that I got into it, and yo, what a pop, what a pop, what a pop. I got. I, I wonder if I'm going to keep collecting the Attack on Titan pops. I don't know. But... That battle leave I made me want to keep collecting. It <laughs> started making me collect Attack on Titan Fungal Pops just because that one pop. And I was like, you know what? I want to start collecting some of these Attack on Titan Pops because of that one pop. So, yeah, what a pop. And one of the best exclusive. And AE, uh, take that as pop. There were some other good uh, exclusive. Tell me in the comments down below if I missed any exclusive that I didn't mention in the honorable mention or in the top 10 that you thought was good, tell me in the comment down below. And what, and what are your guys' thoughts on the top 10? What would you have changed? What would you put in the honorable mention? Any of them you would have switched from honorable mention to top 10? Tell me in the comment down below. And that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the channel, we're aiming for 800 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Download.